Previous registry studies have found that many rescue recovery workers, area residents, and local area workers had lower respiratory symptoms persisting five to six years after 9-11. We conducted the current study to learn whether enrollees continue to experience lower respiratory symptoms, including persistent cough, wheezing, and shortness of breath 10 or more years after 9-11, and what factors increased the likelihood of persistence. We analyzed data from the first three registry surveys conducted in 2003 to 4, 2006 to 7, and 2011 to 12. We found that more than 12% of 18,913 adult enrollees had reported lower respiratory symptoms during the 30 days prior to completing each of these three surveys. Compared to enrollees with no lower respiratory symptoms, enrollees with persistent symptoms were more likely to have had higher 9-11 exposure, probable post-traumatic stress disorder, lack of a college education, and to be obese. Half of those with persistent lower respiratory symptoms also screened positive for one or more mental health conditions, such as PTSD, depression, or anxiety. Lastly, enrollees with persistent lower respiratory symptoms were more likely to report poor physical and mental health than those without lower respiratory symptoms. We concluded that lower respiratory symptoms accompanied by mental health conditions and decreased quality of life persisted for at least 10 years after 9-11. We recommended that World Trade Center disaster exposed adults continue to be monitored for both respiratory and mental health conditions and treated for both categories of illness. We will be examining the results of the fourth registry survey to see whether these trends are continuing into 2015. For more information, please consult our website.